What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this evening? What's good? I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. I'm enjoying this nice rain we got this evening. Mm -hmm. Are these? I'm going to get to that in a minute. First, let me open up these doors. Welcome to Rococo Spine Botanica, LLC. Where we welcome, welcome everybody, and yes, I mean everybody. The geeks, the meek, the chic, and the unique, and the freaks. If this is your first time on my channel, and you enjoy my country than a syrup sandwich as voice, please hit that like, share, and subscribe down at the bottom. FYI, I am not the average tarot reader. I'm an intuitive reader, meaning I read energies. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I will pick up a deck for a general. That's called my shits and shenanigans session. Sometimes I won't use a deck of cards at all. That's just what I do around here. If my messages do not resonate with you, by all means, you're more than welcome to stick around because I have this thing called Quick Picks. It might be a gem in there for you, too. If you find that doesn't interest you, well, thank you for stopping by. Please don't uh, let the doorknob hit you in the ass while you exit stage left. Have a wonderful day. Now, to my returning viewers and subscribers, thank you for joining us once again. Grab a seat, grab a snack, and enjoy. Now, these. Mm -hmm. No, you, you're looking at what you're looking at. You see, apparently, we got some people thinking that I'm a demoness. No, I don't fuck with demons. I know of them. Met some of them, but no, me, no, I'm not a demoness. You see, little thing about me, like I said, I have Libra and Gemini in my chart. Gemini, highly aspect. And you see, that means double dose of duality. I heard somebody wondering, well, who is she channeling? That's my higher self. No, it's not an entity. Trust me, I will know. Also, I would like to address the Bible thumpers. Thank you, spirit. It came into my energy while I was doing my channeling. Yeah. Well, for all you Bible thumpers, I would urge you to go to the section in your wonderful Bibles and look up any chapters about defending yourself because it's in there. As a matter of fact, I'll help you out. Psalms 144 in 1, Romans 12, 19, Luke 22 and 36, Exodus 22 verses 2 through 3. Matthews 5 and 38. No, Matt, Matthews 5. 38 verse through 39. Yes. Go look those up. Especially, especially the one in Psalms. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle. Mm -hmm. Hands and fingers. See these bottles right here? I don't practice black magic. Mm -mm. And to be quite honest with you, that term black magic skewed. Because there are higher, higher levels of magic. You don't need to burn candy. Or need somebody's blood or hair or something of theirs to do a return to sender or to defend yourself. Don't get me wrong, I'm not judging those that use those tools. I don't because I have them in my shop. Hell, when I started, when I was a little young, but I started using those. 
You see these three bottles right here? Matter of fact, I'm going to show you this one. You see that? Get a good look at it. Full bottle. It's, op it's open. Had to use it maybe twice. Not lately. Last year. Because some high level magic was being thrown at me. Full bottle. Used it twice. Next. See this? Not even um not even half of it is gone. What's that? Mm-hmm. Sieta potencias. Still almost full body. In this. Blessed be the holy hands. <clears throat> this almost gone. Also, I do sell this in my shop as well. And no, I'm not promoting my business. I'm just showing people like, hey, I don't do black magic. I don't have to call on entities or anybody to get a specific target that's trying to hurt, harm, and hinder me. No, I'm not a Satan, Satanist. And no, my divinity is not gone. That one verse that says, when somebody slap, you cheat, you turn the other side so they can slap it again. See, y'all getting that misunderstood. Y'all taking that, that verse and with the wrong context. You see, when God said that, or when Ascendant Master Jesus said that, he wouldn't specifically telling you to lay down and take it on the chin. No. When he said somebody slap you on the cheek, turn it so he can slap the other, that's because he knew the outcome or the penalty for the person that's doing the slapping getting that second slap in. God said also, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. I will repay. Oh, he will. You see, even though God's instruct us, we should not take vengeance upon ourselves. He didn't say you couldn't. But just like I tell my kids, just because you could don't mean you should. Oh, but I helped. Without harming anybody. And as far as me cursing, those who are offended by my colorful choice of words when I'm channeling, I apologize if I offended you. But you see, you gotta be careful how you select your words because I didn't curse anybody. Oh, well, you were swearing? No, I didn't swear at nothing. I simply invited the person to vandalize my property to come and knock on my door if there was an issue. No one showed up. And I waited. And I waited. And I waited some more. Apparently got taken care of. Nipped in the bud. And that's alright with me. Anywho, 
It's all good. Who wants some quick picks? Every Sagittarius feminine energy. I get a bonus. Four to four. Thank you, Spirit. Start with 227 first. Angel number 227 brings a message of faith, trust, and self-belief. Step forward on your life path with confidence and grace as you are here to make a positive difference in the world. And the best way to achieve that is by being true to yourself and following the promptings in your intuition and your inner truths. Maintain a positive perspective and outlook. And through the spiritual law of attraction, you will manifest positive results, rewarding, re, a positive results, rewards, and blessings. Keep up the good work. I say, Spirit, thank you. 212. 212 says that your persistence in trying to keep your independence will soon bring the long-awaited results in the form of banknotes. Your sociability, flexibility, and non-standing thinking will be in trend. And someone will be willing to pay good money for your presence in the team. Try not to give away here too. Otherwise, the most valuable quality of your nature will be lost forever. Angel number 212 signifies trust and love. Mostly partnerships and confidants. So if you're in a situation where you're torn on whether to let go or resolve, and you keep seeing the number 212 everywhere you go, do not be tormented. You know what you need to be doing. Ashay Spirit, thank you. Angel number 343 three is a reminder from the spiritual realm that you did everything it takes to come this far, and that is your happiness. In other words, you should appreciate yourself, appreciate yourself for managing your time well. More so, you are wise because you created decisions that brought greatness into your life. Equally, you will learn you will earn ooh. Somebody could be learning something. Hmm. You will earn everything you want in your life. Notably, it is necessary to finish what you have started. I say, Spirit, thank you. Hmm. Queen of Wands. In my deck, it's the mistress. Hmm. Could be a third party. Leo. Eh. Hmm. Mm -mm. Y'all hear that thunder? Could be a third party, Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, feminine energy. Anywho, the significance of the mistress in my deck is a woman having power, authority, or ownership. A woman who exercises authority as chief in whatever else, a female head of a family, school, organization, etc 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 a woman well skilled in anything or having mastery over it a woman regarded with love devotion a woman regard regarded with love and devotion she who has command over one's heart a beloved object or a sweetheart now since I don't read the I the, I don't read these in reverse, but I just want to let you know. If I ever should start reading in reverse, I think I should. The Queen of Wands in reverse. 
makers, the mistress, a woman filling the place, but without the rights of a wife or a wife, a concubine, a loose woman with whom she, with whom one consorts habitually. The practice of the art of seduction. So, yeah. Mm hmm. Could have been who came and vandalized my baby's stuff. It was rather petty. This woman practices uh, sex magic on people. I'm hearing the song Steal Her Man, Steal Her Man, y'all. Hey, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is a whole. I say spirit. Thank you. Four to four significance. Angel number 424 is a message that the angels are helping to keep your faith and resolve strong. And your thoughts are positive and op optimistic. optimistic. You have a lot of work to do and your angels encourage you to put your efforts towards serving your soul's mission. Give any fears and or anxieties to the angels for healing and ask for guidance whenever you feel the need. Know that your angels encourage your success and happiness and support you along your path. Angel number 424 brings a message to consider all your options and weigh up what is truly important to you and what does not. Do not waste your time. I say spirit, thank you. I think that last part was for me. Hmm. But yeah. For those that's thinking that I'm dark, mm -mm. you got to understand the nature of duality. You see about me, <clears throat> I like to stay in the light. And don't get me wrong, when I was really, really, really young, I tried to join that group of darkness. But you see, I ain't... I ain't get to uh let's just say it like this i got kicked out of that group too. why devil don't like people to ask questions mm. thank you spirit mm -mm. he doesn't he just wants your loyalty you see Nothing happens by chance. You see, my loyalty, I have loyalty to nobody but myself. And I'm, that's not, I'm not saying that is a bad thing. But you see, as much shit as I didn't see and have done to me and I just took it on the chin. I had to lean on myself. So you see. And that little dark group that I tried to join a long time ago. Yeah, I got shunned from that too. Because, well, I complained. I asked questions. The refreshments was disgusting. You see, in that group, I was considered a Karen. Before Karen even got a title, I was a Karenisha. So, got kicked out of that group too. And I've been fucking annoying the devil ever since. Demons can't stand my ass. Because I hold the truth. And now, I'm just pretty much freeballing it. Living my life. I don't belong to no groups, no organization. And I don't do titles. And I'm for sure and certain, certain I ain't dark. Because you see, I will put that good old book of law down and pick up a sword real fast if I have to. And it won't cost me my divinity. It will stay intact.
Hey, I'm going to get on out here. Lock up this door, friend. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Have a glass of wine on me. Until then, beautiful people. TTYL. Talk to you later. Bye, y'all.